a lot of you guys had trouble with the Chrome driver. So I told everyone I'd record this video for you and walk you through the setup of uh, Chrome driver, Selenium, and all that. First thing we want to do is uh, pull up your terminal. Let's check for let's check if you have um, if you have Chrome driver at all. So we'll do Chrome driver V. I guess that might be the easier way, but you want to, sometimes you want to know if it's installed with Chrome with a with a Homebrew or installed somewhere else. But anyways, right now I know that I've got this version. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to find this version, I would use this command right here to do a find. And we want to do sudo find. Um, this is the directory, which is just the forward slash, so like the root directory. And you want to sudo in. Um, iname means um, in name. Look for Chrome driver. So then we'll search for that, put in my password. Also, then, as you can see up here, I, you can already tell that I have um, my Bash profile open and Bash RC. And I'm going to go over that in just a second. But um, but basically, setting up your path, you're you're basically telling your computer where it should look for the binary files, which um, in Windows would just be like the executable files for um, for e for each application. No, nope, that's not what we're looking for yet. Um, so let me open up with this other window. I'm going to keep that one open. You know what? Let me even do this real quick. Brew um, uninstall Chrome driver. So you can see that I'm doing it from scratch. So then if I come, if I come back here and run Ruby auto liker to try and run the program, you can see I get this big error. Selenium, binary path, unable to find Chrome driver. And that's where everyone gets confused because you can't find Chrome driver. And in this case, I don't have it. Now I'm going to brew. This is where you need to start. So I'm going to go ahead and clear. You want to brew, install Chrome driver. Cool, cool, cool. So I already had it downloaded, so I don't have to re-download it, but it's got it all there. Now if I try and run that same program, here, let me clear again, Ruby Auto Liker RB, you can see that it's opening up and it runs. So I'm going to go ahead and close it down. I don't need all that. Now, where were we with this? Okay, so we did we did the search, right? We did that um, sudo find in name Chrome driver. And so you can see all these files down here. The one that we're looking for is the binary file. So you can see it says user local um, bin or binary Chrome driver, and that's that's where you want to that's where you want to root to. Just to double check, uh, I mean CD into just to double check that, that everything is there. But I mean that's basically what you're looking at. So if I'm gonna even go back up real quick, let me just uh, do this. Okay, so right from the root folder, I can do ls. I know it's in user, so let's cd into user. And when you're looking in user, also do ls um, like this, dash a, if you want to see all your files. Um, I already have mine set. If you can actually see up here, I have an alias, so that when I type ls, it automatically does ls dash a. So it automatically shows all just by typing, typing that. Um, but yeah, do ls dash a if you want to list all. Um, and then what, where were we going next? I forget. It was user, probably local, right? So cd local ls cd bin ls. Let's see what's in there again. Now we're looking for Chrome driver, which we can see is right here. So that's within the binary file. So that's saying when this runs, run this bit of binary. So that's what you want to do. So now we're going to come back up here and look at, we have the dot bash profile and dot bash rc. Now I'm gonna. Now that I've already showed you that, I can go ahead and cd into uh, the root folder for my user, which is uh, Seth or developer or whatever, and I'll just list off. You can see that I have some stuff in here, but we can see. And again, you have to do list all to see these ones, these hidden files. That's what the period means. That's hidden. Um, I have a bash rc and a bash. Um, what's it I'm looking for? Bash profile. Bash profile. I have both open. You really only need bash profile open and you're only really going to need to add this command that I have commented out right now. And I'm only showing you this because um, you have to check all your bashes. There's a couple different bashes. There's bash RC, bash profile, and what's the other one? There's 100% another one. I'm not seeing it right this second. It's not bash history. It's not bash sessions. 
Anyways, um, so like I have this user local bin. So we just saw where that was at, right? It was in lo uh, user local bin Chrome driver. I'm gonna take this out for a second because as you saw that if I run it, it's, it's working perfectly. So I'm gonna take this out. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna come back over here to this other window I had open. And I'm just gonna try to run uh, Ruby Auto Liker again. So I can show you that it's not working. Oh, you know what? I have to. I have to open a new window. Never mind. Let me open a fresh um, bash file. See, I'm already getting errors because that's not in my bash RC file. Okay, but anyways, Ruby Auto Liker, and you can see I get this error now, which says require cannot load such file water, which is a error that a lot of you guys are getting. So this means that your path is wrong. If it says it can't find Chrome driver, it's because you don't have it on your computer. If it can't find, if it can't load water, it's because this. So what you want to do now is if I come over to my bash profile and just add this, which is export path, user local bin, semicolon, um, path, the path variable, that will fix this problem. Now if I open a new window, you see I'm still getting an error, not two errors, but but I'm getting one. All right, let's do um, Ruby auto liker, and this time it should work. And as you can see, it's uh, there we go, it's running. So that should get you up and going. You wanna make sure that you, um, one, brew install Chrome driver, and then two, you want to make sure that you um, add this user, if you brew install it, this is, this is gonna be the path. If you're on Windows, obviously the, the backslashes or the forward slashes or backslashes or whatever, uh, user local bin path. Also, just a nice little thing if you want, if you wanna use this, alias ls equals list all. This way you can see all your files, even your hidden files. It's just, that's kind of a convenience thing. Uh, I'm gonna undo this because I need that there. I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna open a new bash. Still in web scraper. I just want to make sure everything's still working. And there you go. So that's the setup. Um, so this, this video is going to be 1.1. It's going to be right after the auto liker video. Also, if you haven't yet, I'm going to link my GitHub below, but you can see here I added everything in GitHub. I made a lot of updates to the code, um, especially even on the auto liker. Recently, Instagram changed um, this this course bright heart open. It used to be course bright heart like open, so it completely breaks the code that we wrote. And they don't change very often, but I guess they did an update and they decided to shorten it or whatever. So um, not only that, here I'm just gonna make this bigger so we can see more. <clears throat> I've done my font like super big so you guys can read it well. Um, not only that, I added the credentials file in here so that you guys can use the credentials file as well, uh, which I'll show you in just a second, but I added a new loop. So the program doesn't just run infinitely. I added a loop do so we can add a counter for max likes. So it'll sleep for 30 seconds. You guys should put more. I'm actually going to update this again so it divides how often it should loop by or sleep for based on... Um, how many likes per day that you have. So within a 24 hour period. So we'll take the amount of likes divided, or 24 hours divided by like 1500 likes in this case, which is what I have it set at. And it'll sleep for that many seconds each time uh, before, and then before it tries to loop again and, and try to do more likes. So like we'll definitely make it a little bit better. But right now, the first one, I was just trying to get it in in 15 minutes. This one's a little bit more crisp and clean. This is like more like code I would actually submit like if I was building something for somebody. Or um, if I was building for somebody and have all these freaking comments in it but uh no if i was actually submitting it for work this is kind of more the style i would have it at um but like the first one I, again i was just trying to keep all my videos at 15 minutes this is the updated version um what else am i missing i also added a lot more comments so you guys know what's going on um oh so the credentials file nope it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up uh gotta cut that out <laughs> All right, so the credentials file, I just had to make a cut because I had my old stuff in here. But anyways, there it is. You put your username here, your password here. It makes it global variables so you can pull it in. In the auto liker file, we're requiring relative credentials. And then you can just, it'll automatically pull that in here. So then you can use those variables. You can actually put anything in that credentials file. 
The other things I added, which you can ignore, is the README, which I just added this to make this thing over here on my GitHub. I added the git ignore file, so it, it, once I once I once I um, pushed it once and my credentials file was in there, so it looks like this, so you guys can have access to it. I put a git ignore file in here and committed that and pushed that, so that it ignores my credentials for now, and so I can keep mine in there and push that. Um, that should be kind of self-explanatory. You guys can probably look it up. If you need more help on Git Ignore, I can talk more about it, but there's not much left. But um, just you know, leave all that in the comments below. Uh, I hope this setup helped you guys. I'll leave the um, I'll leave the actual command you need to run down below. Um, the find command that I did, the search command, that's not necessary. That's just something I do to kind of like make it easier, so I know that I'm not crazy when I'm like looking up stuff or like just like looking aimlessly. Um, but yeah, if you guys need anything else, if you have any other questions, this is 1.1. I can do a 1.2 and dive deeper in anything you guys have. Just put it in the comments below. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know I get a lot of feedback from you guys. A lot of you guys are liking this, except for the issue you guys were having with setup, which is this part. Um, everyone seems to be pretty happy with it. Uh, right after this video, I'll be recording on how to comment. And then on the next one, I'll be recording how to go and search out and, and do all this on other hashtags and not just your feed and your friends feed so it's definitely getting a little bit more intricate this is going to come before the next two videos which I've already recorded which are the auto follow but um, all this information applies for after that as well so go on and watch watch those auto follow ones and then next will be the comments and then next will be the hashtags and doing all that so um, yeah take care guys I'm Steve Hawkey. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to developer. The Hawkmaster signing out.